Hi, I'm Liam Bradley. And my name is Benjamin Domas Crew. My name is Brian James Polak. My name is Ava Nimmer. I'm uh, Joe Kuala. I'm Carla Grotting. I'm a playwright. Here at Door Kinetic Arts Festival, I am participating as an actor, um, working on a brand new play written by Brian James Polak. So in 2022, I was part of uh, DCAF, and uh, really leaving here the first time, all I wanted to do was come back. So when I got invited back for uh, 2023's festival, I was ridiculously excited. It was, I was like over the moon, I couldn't wait, and this was like a highlight of my entire year. And that's where I actually met Brian. Um, I was brought up to work on his play uh, called The Patient, and it was a cast of three. I had a great cast of actors, I had a director. And this piece is very different, cast of one, only me, and um, also The Patient was further along in its um, completion process, in, in, in its writing process, whereas this was the first uh, time any audience ever was going to see the current play called The Call List. I had the great fortune of working with Ava Nimmer, who was in my play in 2022 up here, and uh, she got brought back with me this year to work on this solo play, and it was an amazing experience. I mean, I don't know if you can see behind me, but this is like an idyllic place to work. I have found that uh, walking through the woods or sitting at the lake alone has been incredible for me to just open my, my mind and solve writing problems that I'm having in my script and then be given the gift of time and space to work. Just to be able to uh, just think about one thing uh, has been so great. Um, the place is gorgeous. <laughs> there's, there's so much, there's so much. Yeah, time and space and energy. The the energy here is a big part of it. There's a, there's a lovely sort of working creative energy in the building at all times, being able to work simultaneously with other artists and have these lovely conversations and have these potential future collaborations come up. All of these things contribute to just a really great working space and environment for inspiration and creating art. There's a freedom here to take these chances that, mm. that aren't normally granted, right? right? There's no demand for perfection. There's no demand for product. It's it's a true freedom to, to go inside and say, what is, what, who am I as an artist? And to get to explore that, holy moly, what a, what a, what a chance. Really to add on to what um, has been really supportive about this environment that um, even really surprised me to be given up beautiful rehearsal space that was uniquely just for us the whole week because we were imagining oh we might have to move our stuff out and then the next group will come rehearse but to here be in one place have this beautiful space where we can settle in was really allowing us to relax and focus and then the inspiration of all the other artists yeah. and somehow being all in one place really felt like you were among this really rare breed uh, of people and uh, felt like like both a coming home and also a new world. It's like a one big long art party. <laughs> what I love about Dorganek Arts Festival is the fact that uh, it is it is cross disciplines. So I'm here as a playwright working on a play, but there are there are dancers, there are jugglers, there are filmmakers, there are musicians here. Uh, me as a creative person once I meet somebody who I connect with creatively I then search for ways to collaborate with them again so between last year and this year I've met an unbelievable amount of creative people all of whom I want to find ways to to work with in the future so the Flying Foot Forum is a, a percussive dance and theater company that um, I founded in 1990, I believe. And Carla was the very first founding member, and the first person I asked to be in the company, and we've been dancing together for 33 years. The whole idea of the Flying Foot Forum was to try to explore all the possible uses of percussion and percussive dance in a kind of theatrical format. I would say that the work um, has a wide range of expressions and that you've often described it as like spokes on a wheel that at the 
hub in the center is the idea of rhythm as communication and the spokes can go out in any direction and some of the work is very ridiculous some of the work is more abstract or modern some of the work is um, deeply theatrical and serious uh, and it can go in any direction and that idea I think is what gives it its power that idea of rhythm as communication in the center. Company to Explore uh, tries to make intimate and temporary circus performances with small casts. I'm a friend of Company to Explore. I've worked with them in a directorial context here at DCAF. I was invited to come collaborate on a more one-on-one -on -one, uh, generative. Oh, Eric Simonson reached out after Company to Explore did our first show, Surface Tension, in Steppenwolf Theater in Chicago uh, for the Lookout series. Very exciting to be able to develop new ideas and to grow outside of uh, this uh, initial project that we've been working on for a long time. And it was perfect timing to be at the t time where we were dreaming up this new duet show. Um, so it was just perfect. It gave us like a little ship blast out of a cannon yeah. to to get going on it and give mm -hmm. it the time and focus that you really want at the beginning of a project. Here at the Door Kinetic Arts Festival. The process is to relax and sit back and evaluate and take your time and collaborate with other artists across various disciplines that will, regardless of whether you want it to or not, they will inform the work that you're doing in the best way. So it's extremely unique and low pressure and that's a beautiful thing. It works so well because you start with the film because those are already done and it gives people a chance to create their work and then it moves into the more live performances. It's just really well put together and um, a really unique thing in a gorgeous place. And in addition, the seminar that is happening brings a really unique group of people that were very helpful to us as audience members yeah. and talking about the work, the workshops themselves. We took a clowning workshop and learned to juggle. So getting into interdisciplinary with other artists was really, and it makes you just fall in love with everybody's work yeah. in a new way. The audiences here are incredibly intellectually curious and, and very interested in the creative process. And it's been very fun to spend time uh, sharing with them. That's one of the things I like most is that it's so complete. It's everybody who's involved in the arts, the, the people who come watch it, the people who are interested in the arts, people who are not performing but also interested in seeing uh, new work, the variety of artists that are invited here, having a mixologist. You know, all of these, it's like, it, life should be like that, that everything relates to everything and everything comes together. And it sometimes gets separated out into its little bits and pieces and it becomes more fragmented, but this feels very kind of holistic. Well, I guess it's sort of um, inspiring in almost, I don't want to say competitive way, but it's sort of like, wow, they're doing that? What, what can we do like that? It's, yeah, it's like, if they're doing that, then we could do this. Because they're doing that, which allows us to do this. It's okay to do these things. Yeah, we can all kind of bounce off of each other and sort of everyone everyone moves forward together. That's a better way to say it. Yeah. <laughs> I want everyone to know about it because I think it's so unique and really, truly, honestly, very, very special. Um, so if there's any artist out there with a project or part of a burgeoning company, it doesn't matter what you do. You can, you can be a painter, you can be a singer, you can be a filmmaker, you can be working in theater, you can be a dancer, you can do movement, and truly anything is welcome at the Door Kinetic Arts Festival. Check it out. Come on down. It's really fun. You should, you should, you should see all the shows and do all the workshops. You should absolutely learn from, from artists who are you, who you are interested in because it is worth it to, to learn new things and, and learn new processes. I think a big part of working with new artists is learning new artistic processes. And taking a workshop with an artist is a great way to learn a new artistic process and get out of your comfort zone. Decap! Decap! Decap. Hey, hey uh, Liam, what's your favorite kind of coffee? Oh, I really like...